You're making a bigger fool of yourself than I thought you would, Mr. Kane. I've got nothing to talk to you about. You licked. Why don't Get you... Get out if you want to see me have the warden write me a letter. If anybody else I'd say what's going to happen to you, it'd be a lesson to you. Only you're going to need more than one lesson. And you're going to get more than one lesson. Don't worry about me, Gettys. Don't worry about me! I'm Charles Foster Kane! Newspapers are in trouble, but the power of media moguls remains undiminished. And that may be one reason that Citizen Kane, which is on everybody's list of all-time greatest movies, still feels so fresh and contemporary. I am the publisher of The Inquirer. As such, it's my duty, and I'll let you in on a little secret. It's also my pleasure to see to it that decent, hard-working people in this community aren't robbed blind by a pack of money-mad pirates just because they haven't anybody to look after their interests. The movie follows Charles Foster Kane, suggested by the real-life newspaper baron William Randolph Hearst, from his childhood in Colorado through his glory years as publisher of the New York Inquirer to his lonely and embittered end. And Wells is always convincing, and he embodies the character with a physicality that was unusual in film acting at the time. The movie has amazing sweep, variety, and an audacious sense of showmanship. All of which is all the more remarkable when you remember that Wells was only 26 years old and directing his very first film. <laughs> Wells had already made a name for himself on radio with the notorious broadcast of War of the Worlds and on stage at the Mercury Theater in New York in the 1930s. Is there a song about you, Mr. Kane? You buy a bag of peanuts in this town, you get a song written about you. Citizen Kane shows Wells to be a master of genre. It's a newspaper comedy, a domestic melodrama, a gothic romance, and a historical epic. News on the march! The cast is small, the scene changes are brisk and emphatic, the characters are carefully arranged in three-dimensional space and frequently shot from low angles so that we feel as if we're sitting in an orchestra seat watching a play. As long as I can remember, you've talked about giving the people their rights as if you could make them a present of liberty. But Citizen Kane is also uniquely and unmistakably cinematic. Wells and the cinematographer Greg Toland use deep focus, asymmetrical compositions, and bold contrasts of light and shadow to get at themes not explicitly stated in the film's script. Wells slows time down with subjective, dreamlike sequences and speeds it up with witty and inspired montages. The achievement of the film is inseparable from the scale of its title character. Wells knew his Shakespeare very well, and Charles Foster Kane is certainly no smaller than Hamlet or Lear. I made no campaign promises, because until a few weeks ago, I had no hope of being elected. His flaws are enormous, his ambitions heroic. He's endlessly interesting, larger than life, and unmistakably human.